Okay, first grade, settle down, please. It's almost time to go home, but first, I have to make a very important announcement. We have to decide who's going to be taking Mr. Nibbles, our class hamster, home with them. Let me go ahead and look at our list. Well, I took Mr. Nibbles home last week and he told me that he wants to come back because we had so much fun. Well, that's too bad, Tommy, because that's not fair. You have to give someone else a chance. Someone like me. Well, I took him home first, but you guys could have him. I don't want to bring him back home. And my mama says that he smells funny. Hey, well, I haven't gotten a chance either. Okay, class, I've decided. Well, Mia, you took him home first. Tommy, you took him home last week. So we're going to have Livy take him home. Yay! And next week, Julia, you'll get your chance in taking him home. Okay, I have to go over a few rules about Mr. Nibble. No loud noises, okay? Okay! I mean, okay. Always be really gentle with him because he's not a toy. And be sure to wash your hands before and after. Remember, don't feed him any outside snacks and always return him to his cage. Be quiet, be gentle, wash my hands, no outside snacks, and put him back. All right, kids, that's the bell. See you tomorrow. Bye, Mrs. Applewood. Bye. Bye, Livy. There's a hamster on my clean dining room table. All right, um, Livy, can you eat your food so you can take your hamster up to your room? Yep, but I gotta wash my hands first. That hamster stinks really bad. He doesn't stink, you stink. I mean, she's got a point. Ah, <coughs> uh, no, this is not what we're gonna do. Charlie, out now. Hey everyone, I'm home. What in God's name is that smell? That would be our teenage son and possibly our new hamster. New hamster? I go away for a couple of hours to provide a nice life for this family and I come back to a dinner. Uh, no. It's only until tomorrow and then the hamster goes right back. Okay, Mr. Nibbles, we're upstairs. And I made some space for you. It's perfect. Now you get the whole view of my room. It must be really lonely in that little cage. How about you come out for just a little bit? You're so adorable. Well, here's the room. And I really have to go potty. Okay, you stay right there. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Tom kid. Finally, I'm free! Whee! Okay, Mr. Nibbles, where were we? Where did you go? You can come out, it's okay. Mr. Bear, have you seen him? Is he under here? Mommy, Daddy, I have an emergency! I don't know where Mr. Nibbles is! What do you mean you don't know where he is? What does it sound like, woman? I don't know where he is! You lost him? Again! I don't know where he is! I put him on my bed and then I had to go to the restroom and then I came back and he was gone! Livy! He couldn't have gotten that far. Okay, let's go upstairs and look. It's already nighttime and there's still no sign of Mr. Nibbles. I know and I'm so sorry. Hopefully we can find him in the morning. Let's go ahead and leave his cage right here with the door open and maybe he'll come back during the night. I really hope so. Will you try and get some rest because we've had a very busy night. Okay, mommy, I'll try.
Livy, honey, what are you doing out here? Class is starting soon. Mrs. Applewood, I don't have Mr. Nibbles. Why not, Livy? What happened? Well, I was playing with him, but I didn't put him back in his cage right away like I was supposed to. And he sort of got lost in the house. That's why we have rules about always putting him back. Where did you last see him? On my bed. But then he ran off. And I looked everywhere and I couldn't find him. And I'm so sorry. I know you'll probably never trust me again. And I understand. We'll talk more about this at recess. Hey, where's Mr. Nibbles, Livy? Yeah, where is he? Now I'll never get a chance. You suck, Livy. I knew you should have came back with me. Guys, it was an accident. I didn't mean to lose him, okay? Shut up, Livy. We don't want to hear it. Tommy, that is not how we'll speak to each other in this classroom. Fine, well, I'll just speak to her like that on the playground. <laughs> you guys are being very mean. I thought you were my friends. That was until you ruined my chances. Hamster loser. I want to go home. Okay, class, we all need to settle down. Go ahead and take your seats. We have all made mistakes before and we will not make others feel bad because of the mistakes they made everyone owes livy an apology right now hold that thought because we have a knock at the door mrs collins is that mr nibbles yeah that's him i promise i didn't go to the store and buy a lookalike oh my goodness where did you find him thank goodness because the class was about to beat me up I had to stop back at home because I left something. I put my purse on the floor and then I got in the car and I heard a squeaking sound. Mr. Nibbles here was hitching a ride. Oh my goodness, Mr. Nibbles, you have to go back in your cage. We are so glad you found him. Thank you so much, Mrs. Collins. Of course, I have to get back to work, but have a good day, kids. Take this. Oh, thank you, Livy. All right, now back to those apologies. You can start, Tommy. Well, you still lost him. Your mommy had to find him. But yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Have you ever lost anything important? Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.